My friends, today I'll give you my top five pieces of base layer currently on the market so you're ready for those cold winter nights of playing football. And you might be thinking, Jay, why should I use base layer? Well, not only does it keep you warm and dry, which is super nice, I can almost guarantee you that once you've tried a cold winter night wearing base layer, you're never gonna wanna go back to not wearing it. And remember that if you want all of the stuff on the list, you can get it from the link I'm gonna leave in the top corner of your screen, if you do get a bit inspired. But let's get on with it. Number five is the Nike Pro Compression Utility Thermo Tights, AKA your new best friend. And okay, they might be 55 euros, but hey, they're gonna keep your nuts warm, so I guess you can say they're worth every single penny. Now these tights here are made with a soft woven material that makes sure that sweat is wicked away from your body to keep you dry. And as we all know, dry equals, well, not cold. And also they're made with this synthetic fleece-like material on the inside to make sure that your body heat is circulated around to keep you warm as well. Now the good thing is that the tights here are tight enough to never feel clumsy, but also stretchy enough to leave you with a full range of movement. And you could say that these will prevent you from having a freezing seizure in the middle of the match. So as I said, your new best friend. Number four is the Storelli Body Shield shirt, which if you're a skinny guy and sometimes the physical side of the game can be a little rough on you, this is very, very good. Now, hands up, I've worn this shirt myself and can actually say that I really like the extra bit of padding that gives me a bit of confidence going into the many duels that happens in a match because you get a bit of padding all over the shirt. And also, fair enough, it's nice when you get that bit of chest padding for the chest controls if there's a hard ball coming at you. And okay, haters will say that this isn't a shirt for real men. But if you like that protective side of the game with a bit of extra padding on top of an actually very nice base layer shirt, those 60 euros is money very well spent. Now, number three is the Select Prof Care Compression Tights, which are, it doesn't sound that sexy, but it's just one of those pieces of gear that you kind of keep coming back to once you've tried it, because frankly, it's one of the best compression shorts out there at the moment on the market. And that's simply because not only do they give you nice compression, they also give you some of the same sensation that Kinesio tape would give you, which makes your thighs feel a lot more fresh, but also speeds up the recovery process quite a lot. And when you get old like me, that is a big, big plus. Now I wear these both for training and matches basically every week. And while they are a tad bit expensive and 74 euros, they're definitely worth the money because I've had mine for around about two years and they're basically as good as new. Go spend the money, and I promise you, you're not gonna regret it. Now, number two is the Nike Pro Utility Thermo shirt, which is in the very top when it comes to keeping your body warm and dry. Now, it's a pretty no-nonsense base layer shirt with a nice, tight, pretty comfortable fit and a full range of motion. You also get this here little mock collar, the slightly high collar that prevents cold air from coming down the vital part of the lower neck and even more vital from coming down onto your stomach, which is approximately one of the worst feelings in the history of time. But apart from that, you also get this really lovely fleece-like material on the inside that not only wicks away sweat to keep you dry, but also circulates your body heat to keep you warm at the same time. And honestly, this just works. It's extremely nice, and for 55 euros, it's actually just as good as the shirt that's placed first. But before we move on to my favorite piece of Basely, I wanted to give a shout out to some of the stuff that I'm also really down with. The first one being the Craft Progress shirt, which costs you 40 euros and is extremely light and very, very thin, but it's gonna keep you just as warm as all the other more expensive, thicker shirts. Now also a special mention to the Adidas Alpha Skin shirt that's gonna give you a bit of compression and also keep your body warm and dry and it's 35 euros. It's nothing special, but it does a pretty good job. And finally, this shirt for those 
I know it sounds daft, but for those actual warm winter days that happen once in a while. Now this heat gear compression shirt actually keeps your body dry and cool so you won't overheat. It's 55 euros and well, it's good to have in case that rare day comes along. But back to staying warm, let's move on to number one. Because my favorite piece of base layer gear is this one, the Under Armour Cold Gear Compression Mock Shirt that is more or less the same as the Nike shirt and actually also costs the same at 55 euros. But while you get the same warming capabilities and more or less the same fleece-like material on the inside that circulates the body heat and keeps you warm and dry, well, it feels a little thinner than the Nike shirt and not as bulky and plush. Now, the thing is that with base layer that's supposed to keep you warm, you want to get the warmth almost of a woolen sweater, but almost at the same time feeling that you're wearing nothing. And the Under Armour shirt is gonna give you exactly that. So if you can only buy one thing on the list, well, this should be it. Enough said. So there you have it, my friend. What is, in my opinion at least, the five best pieces of base layer for the coming cold winter nights. But what do you think is the best piece of base layer that you can play with or do you even play with base layer? Well, you should let me know as always in the comment section right down below. Now, of course, also keep in mind that if you need new base layer to stay warm, you can buy all of the stuff on the list and then more by clicking the link and go to unisports.com right over there. Of course, also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe with the notifications on to join one of the best football families on YouTube. And then also, if you want to watch more videos, click the players right down here to learn some very cool skills. And with that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.